TGIF, it is the end of the day on Friday. It is after school and there's some TV in here because it's the end of the six weeks grading period. And so on Monday, my 8A students, actually Monday and Tuesday, my A and B day students, so we did a lab where I introduced them to the mole and they had to calculate, not calculate. Y'all are distracting me because you're staring at me. And you're throwing me off. You're throwing me off my mojo here. Um, they did an activity where they had to count out um, three piles of a dozen, so a dozen paper clips, weigh it, get another pile of a dozen paper clips, weigh it, another pile of a dozen paper clips, weigh it. They did that for paper clips, toothpicks, and beads. And then from there, the whole point was to help them understand that um, a dozen represents a certain quantity, so a dozen is equal to 12. And then that was introducing them to the mole, which a mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, atoms, ions, formal units, etc. So they got that part down. But then also the fact that a dozen paper clips and a dozen toothpicks, they don't weigh the same. And so that also tied into one mole is equal to the molar mass of a substance, which that helped as well. But then I used an activity where I had paper clips in a jar and they were supposed to estimate how many paper clips were in the jar without actually physically counting them. So they knew that based on the average of, for example, a dozen paper clips, was it like maybe like around five point whatever grams, they could estimate what the number of paper clips were in the glass jar without actually counting them. And so I used that activity as an introduction to the mole because bye, have a good weekend. Um, I forgot what I was just saying. Um, I use that as an introduction to the mole because they can't physically count molecules or atoms. And so the mole is a useful tool for being able to determine that. So that's what we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. What did we do Wednesday and Thursday? What did we do Wednesday, Thursday? Oh yeah, so on Wednesday, Thursday, thank you for helping me with my vlog. On Wednesday and Thursday, we uh, did the mole. So we did like mole calculations. And then on Friday, today, we did more mole calculations. We did a quiz actually Thursday and today, percent composition. Actually, no, we did percent composition Wednesday and Thursday, right? No. Yeah, but we learned percent composition on Monday. Yeah, we did percent composition on Monday because you wanted to do the notes on Wednesday. So then we did the mole activity. Okay. So, I, okay. I messed up. We did the mole activity on Wednesday, Thursday then. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, what are you trying to say? That I need to edit this up? Yes. Well, there's so many props. You should write like a script before you do all this. I don't normally do it when I have students in the class, but like I have to go and I totally forgot to shoot my vlog. I'm not bothered by it, but like now you're all looking at me and I'm distracted. My anxiety is like going through the roof. So um, I guess I should write a script. So let me backtrack. On Wednesday and Thursday, we did the little mole activity, but Monday and Tuesday, we did percent composition and they took a quiz on that on Thursday and Friday today. Um, many students actually did pretty well. And then my student teacher, she actually took over, she only had to do my third and sixth period because that's the time assigned to her, but she actually took over my seventh period um, and then she did my second period today. And so um, it was great. So I just got to observe and give her some feedback. But other than that, I am going to grab my stuff because it's the end of the six weeks and students are here trying to do last minute work. Um, but my student teacher is gonna handle that until six o'clock, but I'm out of here. Do me a favor, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.